Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. State police are investigating a deadly Easter morning shooting in Brockton. Brockton police were called to a home on Hoover Avenue around 2.15 yesterday morning. When they arrived, they found Cedric Abreu with a gunshot wound to his chest. Now, he was brought to the hospital but didn't survive. Right now, police say this does not appear to be a random act of violence. Three barns destroyed in a massive fire at a farm in Lee, New Hampshire. This broke out around 9 o'clock Saturday night. The video shows it all. Extensive damage with just beams left standing in the flames. Firefighters say they had to work quickly and call in extra help to prevent it from spreading to a nearby home. Thankfully, no one was hurt. An owl is recovering after it was rescued from the side of the road in Danvers. A state police trooper found the bird near Route 1 yesterday. He pulled over and stayed with the animal, setting up flares until the mass environmental police could get there. The owl is now at a wildlife rehab facility. Time for a check of the forecast. And Jacob, we have a next weather alert. Absolutely, yes, Chris. We are starting out this morning in the 30s and 40s. That next weather alert is in effect for Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures, though, on the mild side for today. And we're going to rebound back into the mid to upper 50s. There will be some early clouds around, but later sunshine, a mild day overall. Then things start to go downhill Wednesday, Thursday, the potential of some flooding rains, some snow accumulations and even some damaging winds. We'll have obviously much more as the details kind of come out on that. But Wednesday and Thursday, let's prepare. Let's prepare ourselves for that impactful coastal system. We'll start to clear up as we head towards the weekend. Chris. All right. Thanks, Jacob. This has been a WBZ News update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Have a great day.